I'm going to review Goddess of the Hunt by Tessa Dare, and there will be some spoilers. So, I wanted to take a break from some of the other authors I've been reading and read a Tessa Dare book because I like her. Um, most of the books I've read of hers have been in just one series. I've read one other in a previous series of hers and I'd never read any of these. This is actually her very first book and so I was interested to see um, what her previous books were like and if I'd like them and you know just to do a general review. And so the uh, main characters are Lucy and Jeremy and Jeremy is friends with Lucy's brother Henry and you also have two other friends um, Felix and Toby and Lucy is madly in love with Toby she's been in love with Toby for like eight years that's how long they've been doing their get-togethers and she's 19 now she used to be she was 11 when she first fell in love with Toby and so the book starts out, Jeremy hears a knock on his door, and he opens it, and Lucy comes rushing in and starts to kiss him really badly at that. And he's like, what are you doing? And she's like, I'm trying to seduce you, because I'm, pra or she actually said, I'm practicing, because she wants to try to seduce Toby, because Toby is almost engaged to uh, Sophia, who is the sister of Felix's wife. So Sophia's there, Toby really likes her, he wants to get engaged to her, and Lucy is not having any of that. She's like, no, I'm going to seduce him and make him marry me instead. And so Jeremy, you know, does not approve of any of this, tries to sort of get in her way to prevent her from doing something scandalous. But she's already done something scandalous. She barged into his room at the middle of the night and started kissing him. And he did kiss her back, um the last time almost to make a point to say your way out of your depth but see Lucy she's sort of a tomboy almost she, she takes the kisses a dare and won't back down and so they kiss each other and he's like oh I kind of like that but you know they, they, they don't like or are not like easily attracted to each other or anything they've known each other for years and so he's kind of like well and um so the first uh, probably two th half or two thirds of the book is Lucy trying to get Toby away from Sophia and Jeremy kind of getting caught in the middle and Jeremy trying to stop her. But then Jeremy has to kind of wind up marrying Lucy because her brother found this like really compromising note and it's kind of complicated but anyway Jeremy offers to marry for her and she basically has no choice and then of course since they're attracted to each other the night before the wedding they decide to actually you know have sex because they're like oh we'll be married anyway well Henry uh, Lucy's brother the next morning says oh we can call this off I know that you know she isn't actually compromised nobody else outside of this this house would even know about that letter and whatever and then they have to admit that they did they, they did stuff the night before and Henry's all pissed off and whatever. And then, of course, um, they go to Jeremy's holding. Jeremy's an earl, and um, he's really the only other titled person in the group. Toby's a baron, but he's, like, barely a baron. Or, no, he's a baronet, even. He's not even a baron. He's, like, a baronet. He's, like, the, the like, lowest titled class you can be, basically. But Jeremy's an earl, and, you know, it's like, oh, my gosh, you're an earl. And they have a typical falling out of some misunderstanding, miscommunication, blah, blah, blah. Kind of typical when, you know, you've only been, you've only known each other as adults for, you know, not that long. And so stuff happens. And it all, it all works out just fine. And they lead in with Sophia for the next book. And yeah, it, it's a fairly you know, basic story. There's not too much complicated going on. Um, not, there, there's not a whole lot of complicated, um, I guess, an overarching plot going on. Because sometimes in these, there's a big, like, I don't know, other subplot going on. But there wasn't really anything too major going on. This was uh, fairly simple, but it was her first book. Um, for me, I probably wouldn't read it again. I had a lot of fun with it, but I wouldn't necessarily read it again. Um, but I've I, I've reread some of her other books and I really enjoy that. 
And I think part of it is because there were a, there was a lot of potential here for what they could have expanded on. Uh, one of the things is that Jeremy's tenants don't really like him because of his father. Because he, he hasn't been Earl for too long, but he's just trying to manage the estate. And his tenants don't really like him. And they do a little bit with that, but I think they could have done much more with it. And maybe have gotten her there earlier or made the book a little bit longer. But, you know, hey, you can always see things from a different perspective. So, you know. But yeah, I, I would I would recommend this. It's it's a really it's a good time. It's inoffensive as far as it doesn't really have too many of um, it has a couple of tropes that I don't normally like, but she does them very well. Like I don't usually like when the two main characters know each other already. I don't usually like that, but they did it fine and she did it really well in this. And you know, miscommunications and yeah. You know. Things like that, but um, yeah, no. Uh, you probably find this in New Year's bookstore. I would recommend getting it and checking it out. And I'll be reviewing uh, the second one, Surrender of a Siren. Um, that's Sophia's story. I'll be reviewing that hopefully sometime this week or, or, or next week, probably. They're really good, though. I can usually read them in a day. They're so they're so good. Oh my gosh. And. Um, yeah, and I'll be getting into her next series probably after this one that I've only read one of them in. So I know I like that series. It'll be really fun to get into and I can share with you. Tessa Dare is one of my favorite authors. So I'm happy her earlier stuff is still pretty good. And it, she's been writing for too long. I mean, this was published in 2009. So she's only been writing for about five years. And she's come out with uh, ten books maybe. Maybe a few more than that. And that's that's pretty good. You know, two, three books a year is a pretty good pace for a romance author. Uh, anyway, I hope that was helpful, and I will talk to you later. Bye.